Welcome back to the third installment of the Buffang 750-watt electric install. As you probably have seen, I installed it on my cat trike and did two videos showing you how to install it. The install on the mountain bike is very, very similar to the install on the cat trikes. I did run into a few problems with the battery on the rack because of this bike. I prefer to have the battery mounted on the down tube, but there wasn't enough room on the down tube. One of the downfalls of the Buffang is it's freaking heavy. And on my mountain bike, it's very heavy. And I like it to be more agile going down the trails. Even though it was a blast, I prefer to pedal. Took it out on the street. That son of a gun road wound i wound it right out to almost 30 miles an hour just like i did on the cat trike if i was going to do it again or found an old mountain bike to install it yeah i would go with that but i would go with a smaller motor and a smaller battery you don't need that much power in the very beginning of this video you saw me climb up a sugar sand path that had never been climbed before and it zipped right up if you're exploring this is a perfect because it does not slow down. It goes through all kinds of stuff. Lots of power there. Lots of power. Uh, right now I have the Bafang. I'm going to install, reinstall back onto my Catrike 700 and sell it and move up to something a little bit different. Guys, you're going to find some haters of electric bikes. No matter where you go, you're going to find some haters. But electric bikes do have their place. And the first place that I would say is somebody that's just starting to ride an upright bike or a mountain bike. They're going to be able to enjoy themselves for that 5 or 10 miles that they ride off-road or even on the road until their butt gets in shape to sit on that saddle for long periods of time. And I'm talking, you know, maybe 50 miles. Maybe that's what their goal is. But this is a good way to get you a little bit better in shape and then pull that electric off and go without the electric. Now, if you're a little bit older, you'll be able to stay with the group. But I think a 750 watts kind of outdoing it. Uh, 500 watts probably better. A smaller battery, you'll find it just as good as a 750. But if you're up in the hills of Utah, the 750 might be the thing for you. But you got to remember freaking bike weighs 90 some pounds now and then going downhill you're gonna fly and it's not as agile definitely if you're gonna go with a 750 watt get a rear shock so anyways enjoy the little trip here i showed you some me zipping around on some of the trails and on the road section enjoy it thanks for coming thanks for viewing we'll see ya